got this temporarily set up, my little power controller. I can turn it all the way up to 40 volts. Right now I just have it straight out of the battery. It's at 18.7. But by turning those little screws I can turn it up. I'm going to hook up an LED now. Alright, I'm going to get my voltage thing up so I can see it. So, you'll, you'll be able to see when it turns on, trust me. Other way. Alright, we got a few specs coming on. There's at 30 volts and it's just a killer. I believe these are rated at 37, but I'm not going to go any higher. And that's not on a heat sink, so it's already hot to the touch. Now the interesting thing is we're disconnected from the battery here. This is about how fast it drains power out. Yeah, they're bright. Really bright. I'm going to try and give this a little bit of a short, see if we can't drain the power. I don't know if it will short circuit. Alright, that solved that problem. Yeah, they're bright. I'm going to lay out the whole positions. Good thing we didn't take it up to 37 like I thought, 32 to 33 volts. Alright YouTube, there's been a change of plans. This is how the cooling is going to work though. Air gets blown in from this side, goes through, why are you not focusing? Goes through the heat sink and comes out this side. Uh, the LEDs, I'm going to mount center mounted on here is the plan. Instead of like over here, and only utilizing half, I'm going to center mount them. Mount them dead center so they get maximum cooling surface. That's the plan as of right now, anyway. Although, I, I might just cut it in half. I haven't completely decided yet what I want to do with that. Unfortunately, everything that I'm using is in metric, so i got to deal with metric. We are about 15 millimeters to the end there. So we'd be able to get another one if we chose. I might just do it that way actually. And that would seem to me to be a good idea. Just cut down, mount that like so. That would still be a very beefy chunk. Cut this off. The batteries I've decided to use are, what are they? Hold on. They're 12 amp hours, and I'm going to use two of them. They're five pounds a piece, so 10 pounds of batteries, probably 10 pounds of heat sink, and probably a pound of everything else. So this will be 11 or 12 pound flashlight. Now these are what I was originally gonna use, was these Focus four and a half amp hours but I've opted for the 12 volt because at one the converter will actually step 12 volts up and two because I'll be able to get them cheaper to get the required amp hours so I'll bring you back yeah we'll end this at part one part two I'll drill and tap all these because I gotta order some taps in and we'll mount the LEDs in part two. Part three will install everything because I got two of these bad boys to install and if that those two fans I showed you aren't enough cooling I think this will do it. That's a 24 volt fan. I think it'll do. Here's going to be the layout. Holes are circled. One, two, three, four, not five, five, six. 
that was a screw up. But every circle is going to be a drilled and tapped hole, three millimeters, all the way over. That will leave like 15 and a half millimeters on each side. I know, I hate it. Half the work in metric because all the parts are metric. But that leaves about 15 and a half millimeters each side. This now weighs, like I said, about 10 pounds now. Or about 5 pounds, I mean. So with the batteries and everything, we'll probably be looking at 11, 12, maybe 13 pounds. Why are you doing that, camera? Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next video.